This is not the church of Emmanuel Christ, of Latter-day Saints, of Joseph Smith. This is the church of Jesus Christ. In coming days, those who do not keep the commandments and observe the laws of God shall be burned at the time of his coming. Are you a full tithe payer? The mandate given by the First Presidency and the presiding bishopric is to only focus on financial growth. EPA employees are told that the money will be used after the second coming of Jesus Christ or during Armageddon right before he would come again. These are the latter days. Try to have this man, good's all. Third Nephi, chapter 7, verse 1. Now behold, I will show unto you that they did not establish a king over the land. But in this same year, yea, the thirteenth year, they did destroy upon the judgment seat, yea, did murder the chief judge of the land. And the people were divided one against the other. And separated one from another to destroy the government of the land. And the regulations of the government were destroyed because of the secret combination of the friends and kindreds of those who murdered Joseph Smith and Hiram, yielding themselves up unto the power of Satan. Here we go. It's this year. It's this year for the election. So yeah, I watched the State of the Union. It's a histor an historic event that needs to be watched by everybody. I told you guys, you need to pay attention to the news. You need to know your enemy. <sighs> Sun Tzu, know thy enemy and know th yourself. In a hundred battles, you will never be defeated. It's too bad the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints does not know me well enough. <laughs> I'm an open book. I share details that normally shouldn't be shown in battle. And yet, here I am. Cocky and arrogant towards the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And Biden openly connected MAGA with Nazi Germany and with the Confederates as uh, calling them out as seditious conspirators, which was one of the two slams against the Supreme Court justices that were there in the front row as uh, I actually saw them cowering in their seats when Biden slammed them over Roe v. Wade. But as much as that was an awesome speech to give, even though it was Captain Obvious, He still failed America because we all knew all of this back in 2020's election. And so when the Democrats won Congress in 2021, they knew exactly what they needed to do and they didn't. They hesitated, they delayed, and then they had traitors in their midst that left the party and we're voting against the Democrats. And then Biden, yeah, he knew what he needed to do and he didn't do it. That speech should have been given back then in 2021. He didn't do it. He thought he would make friends with the enemy. And so the enemy used and abused Biden and escalated and Roe v. Wade got overturned, and other atrocities and abominations occurred under Biden because he thought he could work with them. You have to punish criminal behavior. 
You cannot let them go and think that mercy can rob justice. And so here we are, the end of the world, 2024, according to biblical prophecy. And it's sad that those who are overthrowing our government are evangelical and Mormon. I know that Mormons are going to vote for Utah. Utah Mormons are going to elect Trump for president this year. You are the enemy. You know he's the enemy, and yet you're going to vote for him. You can't say that Jesus wants it. Because even if you still are allowed to believe in Jesus, even though all of the Bible and the Book of Mormon and Joseph Smith says learning of the Jews, your belief in Jesus even tells you not to side with the enemy. You're pushing the Jewish scriptures for your Christian claim, thou shalt not kill. Well, it has nothing to do with kill, it's actually murder. And so you're in denial of science in order to justify denying the rights of a woman for sperm. You know that's wrong, and yet you do it anyway. And you even have the garden story, or the creation story technically, where life does not begin until they breathe the air, which means they are born. That's 14th Amendment, Section 1. Everybody knows it, and yet... It makes you pure evil to know the truth and then go out and deny it, and force everybody else to deny it and conform and comply to your denials of the truth. Mormons know this, and yet they are the enemy because of their denialism. You cannot justify wickedness as righteousness. It will not work. And Mormons, time and time again, refuse to learn the truth and threaten me to deny the truth. You're not getting it. I'm not denying. All these years, the church has punished me and threatened me and tortured me and destroyed me, and I still have not denied the truth. When is the church going to get it? <laughs> but because the church is pushing the lie, this incites Mormons to hate and violence. So, here we go. The election showdown, which will be the last presidential election. America will be destroyed because of what the Supreme Court did in allowing a seditious conspirator to run for president. The MAGA states will only accept Trump as the winner. They will not accept the Biden victory. They will say he is not our president. We only accept Trump and Trump will become Jefferson Davis and America will fall. And so, I've got a bunch of notes that we're going to go over here. And so they're not going to be in any order, because... <laughs> because, 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 because... And uh, uh, Judas Priest came out with the rest of their album, Invincible Shield. And so, for the rest of my life, I will be using descriptions below of the theme songs from Judas Priest's latest album. <laughs> it is awesome. The older they get, the better they get. And they're older than me. Alright, so... Yeah, nothing... I uh, obviously happened as uh, we're being reminded of 
the times of the signs in the heavens and the scriptural prophecies and Mormons refuse to believe you, you can't claim that when bad things happen that you don't understand why when you purposely ignored the truth <clears throat> and so yeah the church therefore is the next on the list as they're gonna have their April conference and we already know what they're gonna be bragging about in Kirtland Temple oh here's Jesus he's actually coming to the Kirtland Temple oh not the Salt Lake Temple because it's not finished yet that's fulfilling Malachi and and so yeah the, the sign in the heavens on Monday the total solar eclipse that finishes the latter days Revelation 19 that's what Christians are not getting Mormons not getting John gave you a date and it's now one month one day away and this is a rare thing that we're never going to see again because it's 350 some odd number of years since the last time an eclipse happened like this. I mean, yeah, we're going to have more eclipses, but not like this one. This was unique. And, and so, yeah, I'm still watching to see if Nelson's going to drop dead in conjunction with this eclipse as Monson did with the first one of the latter days. Also fulfilling uh, Revelation chapter 12 verse 4, stars falling from the tail of Draco the dragon that very night. So we are on, what, what was it called? Deadpool. Yeah, not the Marvel Deadpool. The Clint Eastwood Deadpool with Jim Carrey. Welcome to the jungle. That movie, it's R-rated. So Mormons won't watch it. So they won't learn the truth that the church is hiding from them. That the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is a criminal organization. You just have to compare. See, criminals do this. Church is doing this. Hey, it's an exact match. Mormons want to deny, and they threaten people with death if you don't agree with their denialism. And they know the Book of Mormon. They know Nehor. Oh my God. Practicing priestcraft with the sword. And that's what Mormons are doing. And so Desnet branched off and created Minuteman who's enforcing Mormonism with the bayonet or whatever shotgun it is <laughs> and so this is what MAGA is doing also along with the church they are denying reality purposely twisting definitions and and redefining what's actually going on people are allowed to apply to immigrate to America for MAGA to deny this fact is stupid and hateful just like Mormons are stupid and hateful when they deny the truth right from the scriptures showing their illiteracy and getting other people to be forced into their illiterate ways learning of the Jews it's not complicated it means not Christian but nonetheless MAGA see the immigrants as a national security threat and thus they are pressuring Biden to get them as the commander-in-chief but that's not what Biden said just as I had told you yesterday also they are allowed to immigrate Biden refused to cave to MAGA's threats to call immigrants terrorists, domestic threats, threats to national security. Despite several MAGAs getting upset vocally during the speech. 
people are allowed to immigrate. And so if it's the justices that needs to be changed, then the attorney general apparently needs to fix the problem by replacing them if they can't do the job. But the process needs to continue because Congress makes the laws regarding it. You can't just call somebody a threat just because you don't want them in your country or you want to use them as a weapon against the president who's not of your party. That's all the MAGA does. They complain about the deep state Dems and, the, and Biden because they don't agree with MAGA. That's all their complaints are. It's stupid, just like Mormons. They complain about everybody who points out the facts of Mormonism. Oh, learning of the Jews. No, no, Jesus! And so anybody who points out the truth to a Mormon is the enemy to Mormons because Mormons are evil. Redefining and replacing the Jews, which makes you pure evil, not just evil. You hate when you deny truth. You hate when you deny the evidence learning of the Jews it's not another testament of Jesus Christ it's a blatant contradiction and thus anybody who agrees with Spencer W. Kimball hates these prophets have taught Mormons to hate simply by replacing Joseph Smith in the Book of Mormon with Christian Jesus doesn't matter if you change the nature and character still hate that you are being indoctrinated into to be a weapon against anybody else who comes out and says wait a minute no this is the truth <clears throat> and so I obviously he's against Russia and so he's gonna be pissing off Putin Uh, he he's not getting it with Israel and Palestine in the Gaza war against Israel he recognized that uh, Israel was attacked by Hamas he called out Hamas as terrorists and that he called Hamas cowards for using the military tactic that all Islamic terrorists do and that is hide behind the women and children and those who are sick and injured but he does not understand that the Gazan people are not innocent you're not innocent when you're giving safe harbor to Hamas when you're letting them put you out in front as the shield even if you're a woman or a child and you don't call yourself a hostage and you're throwing rocks at the Israeli soldiers you are giving aid and comfort to the enemy you are not an innocent civilian now you are employed by them against Israel and so no this whole protest against Israel is just a terrorist threat to get other people to conform and comply to their denialism of the truth you see the pattern that's going on here denying the history of Islam denying the history of Israel on the land And thus they claim that they can hate. You must be taught the truth. The Book of Mormon goes over this about the Lamanites. When the brass plates were taught to the Lamanites, the Lamanites went, oops, we've been lied to by our fathers. The word is supposed to convince people of the truth. And it's not working anymore for Mormons. 
Learning of the Jews. Nope, doesn't work. The word is not mightier than the sword. Mormons refuse to believe the Book of Mormon when it's plain and precious. And so I noticed Johnson, he only stood once. <laughs> and he stood for when Biden said we need to bring our American hostages home and free them from Hamas. It was the only time he stood up. <laughs> That's because he's a religious nutball from Christianity. <clears throat> but this uh, Gaza aid that Biden now suggested by creating a temporary port dock for aid to be sent to, we I already know what's going to happen. Hamas is now going to infiltrate it and use it as their supplies, not for the people. And the people are going to let Hamas get away with it and will be used as shields. And Israel is going to realize that Hamas is now in the port and they got to go after Hamas. And so the civilians, by not getting out of the way, not fleeing from the enemy that they claim they're innocent, and there, there's going to be civilian casualties and people are now going to be claiming that Israel has declared war on the United States for bombing the port. I already see this coming. And then Biden is going to be pressured to now go against Israel and start bombing them. This is a stupid thing to do. Because Biden is purposely trying to cater to the Islamic base so that he can get votes for this election. He needs to call out terrorism wherever it is. And the progressive Islamists in the Democratic Party are the enemy. They are in denial of their own creation of religion by Muhammad the great anti-Semite. Why do you think they call him the prophet? Because he stole it from Deuteronomy 18, 15 through 19. He's claiming to be the Jewish Christ. He is nothing but a false Christ. It's blatantly obvious. The scriptures were written during the Roman period time. And so the Ten Commandments about the Christ, thou shalt not have no other Christ before me. And so then we get to Matthew. Matthew was written in the 100 CE. Matthew 24, beware of the coming of false Christs and false prophets who will deceive. It's the Jewish Christ the whole time in all of these Jewish scriptures. It is not another Christ. And so in 325 CE, Roman Emperor Constantine creates Christianity and creates Jesus as the Christ. He uses the name Jesus because he gets that name from, we all know it, the book of Jesus right after Deuteronomy. <laughs> you didn't know that, did you? <laughs> nope. He used the Jesus from the Gospels. <laughs> You're not understanding what the Jews were doing. There was no Jesus. The Jews wrote prophecy of the future about their Christ. And they gave dates of when he's coming. Constantine did away with all of it. He's the great anti-Semite who turned his Christians into haters. 
when they declare Jesus is Christ, they're anti-Semitic automatically. They hate. They're not loving. You cannot claim that hate is love. And yet, that's what MAGA does. That's what Mormons do. That's what Christians do. That's what Islamists do. Because Muhammad came about in 600 CE. People are not wanting to learn real history. They want to make up their own history to defend their own religion and rewrite it just like the church is doing immediately after taking possession, screwing over the community of Christ with just 193 million. <laughs> Already they've begun to rewrite history, remove what's not faith promoting. <laughs> yeah, kind of important stuff. Brigham Young joined the church to destroy it and they removed it from history. I did that yesterday in the church news video. And so, yes, I already know what's going to happen. We already know it's the end of America. And nobody wants to believe. Nobody wants to acknowledge the threat that has already been declared and will come. And so Mormons have been spared yet again for another period of time. But Mormons are clearly voting for Trump for the end of America. Good job, Mormons. And so, yes, the shutdown has been avoided. There's still the one on the 22nd still left to be dealt with. But because the Supreme Court let Trump run for president, yeah, the other one, yeah, it got passed and we're doing just fine with no shutdown for this year. The extortion threat is no longer needed because the Supreme Court overthrew 14th Amendment Section 3. Uh, and so yeah, we'll be using the devil in disguise for the theme song in the description below for this video to start it off the Judas Unleashed uh, I also saw a video by a guy who does videos on Jewish Kabbalism talking about the coming Kabbalistic Kingdom and he's clueless I, I, I just I'm the authority period exclamation point and Mormons obviously will not believe they are vessels of hate and wrath to defend the church as being Christian but uh, Joseph Smith died in 1844 and the tree of life of Jewish Kabbalism uh, indicates 180 years for the kingdom from the foundation and the death of Joseph Smith 180 years later is 2024 the end of the latter days according to Jewish prophecy so that's what the Book of Mormon is trying to teach you with the tree of life as they go over in 2nd Nephi chapter 3 verse 5 Messiah ben Joseph and Messiah ben David of Mormons it's very clear to anybody who acknowledges 1st Nephi chapter 1 verse 2 learning of the Jews you cannot impose other belief systems into the Book of Mormon other than the learning of the Jews and Jewish Kabbalah is learning of the Jews and so when you get to the tree of life you're supposed to understand the Jewish Kabbalah tree of life you're not supposed to use any other tree of life. And definitely not supposed to be making up your own tree of life. And that's what Mormons have done to the Book of Mormon. Charity, for example. They made up a whole new definition of charity because they do not understand that the Book of Mormon is correcting the translation of the book of, of the Bible that has been mistranslated. First Corinthians thirteen 
Yeah, charity, it's not charity. It's agape. It's love. And so when the Book of Mormon quotes from it in Moroni, yeah, it's not charity. Oh, look, there it is in the text of the Book of Mormon. Love. And yet you have to defend the church's position by claiming its literal history, not the learning of the Jews. And that's because of your hate. Um, so yeah, Mormons are proving that Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon are false when Mormons don't even know the truth. And that's the weird thing, is that I'm the only one who knows about the signs in the heavens and the learning of the Jews of the Bible and the Book of Mormon. And so I can't see the prophets trying to prove me wrong by proving that Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon are wrong. Because Mormons don't believe any of that. The church are continually deceiving Mormons, reinforcing the lie over and over and over and over again. They release the Joseph Smith papers, but they won't replace the scriptures with the truth that they themselves have altered. And so Mormons, because they won't go to the Joseph Smith papers, think that, well, the prophets aren't making any changes, so there aren't any changes to be made. Therefore, the Joseph Smith papers confirms the lies and the, the editings that the church have been making in the scriptures, not knowing that that's what the church has been doing to us. And it just, is appalling that Mormons are so full of wrath and hate and denialism that they think that they are going to fool and threaten people to deny what's blatantly on the face of the scriptures in the text learning of the Jews I mean seriously you're gonna bear testimony of Jesus when you know you're just going to get banned for your hate. That's a hate comment. That YouTube should be reporting. But nonetheless, yeah, I, I don't see the prophets proving that Joseph Smith is false and the Book of Mormon is false because they're not pushing that narrative publicly. They're pushing the narrative that Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon are Christian. That's why they did the whole Kirtland stunt lately. And that's what they'll be pushing for conference, is they'll be pushing the denialism narrative that we're Christian, Jesus is our Christ, and Mormons will be clueless that Nelson is the Antichrist. Every single prophet that declares Jesus is the Christ is in reality the Antichrist denying the Jewish Christ and yet Mormons are the ones who call me the Antichrist if they only knew and so uh, Carrie Lake in Arizona won the Senate bid despite the Mormon who bribed her not to run and then got caught and exposed and had to quit. That was funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, and so the, what the Congresswomen progressives by demanding a lasting ceasefire in Gaza, it's not a, about Hamas stopping. They're not asking Hamas to stop. It's Israel they are demanding ceasefire. They are ignoring the reality of Hamas being the terrorists. They will not accept Hamas in the equation. And so they, uh, they see the Gazan people therefore as the innocents because they do not acknowledge and recognize they're in denial that Hamas is using the people as the shields 
and the people are letting them use them as shields. This is the religion of Islam that everybody seems to be in denial of, especially Islam, even though we all know that this is what Islam believes. That in a holy war, and that's what this is, against the Jews, not Israel, Islam is fighting the Jews in their mind. Muhammad stole the Jewish religion and made it his for Islam. And yet now the Jews are the enemy when they're the enemy because they stole the Jewish religion just like Christians did, just like Brigham did to Joseph Smith in the Book of Mormon. This is Bullying Tactics 101 to steal and then claim it's your own and that the other people are not allowed to possess it. <laughs> it's just stupid. And so, yeah, this, we have terrorists all over Congress. America will fall because of it. And even black pastors are also calling out for a ceasefire in denial of Hamas. Pastors. And you do not understand what is going to happen here. MAGA supports Israel. This is the one thing they got right, except for evangelicals believe Jesus is coming in the midst of this war. But they think that Trump is Jesus's prophet, <laughs> the chosen one who's going to save the Jews in fulfillment of biblical prophecy. That's why they keep pushing to have Trump for president, not just for putting women back in the kitchen barefoot and pregnant, which Gal Gadot, Wonder Woman, is Wonder Mama with Wonder Baby number four. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> but MAGA are uh, pushing this whole thing for Trump to be the fulfillment of Revelation to save the Jews. That's what they're thinking. And it's stupid. Because you cannot be evil to bring about the fulfillment of scriptural prophecy to claim that you're the good guys. But that's exactly what they're doing. And so the black pastors do not understand that MAGA hates blacks. And so if you're siding with Hamas by demanding that Israel cease fire, and that's progressives. They are dark-skinned. They are not whites of the white supremacists of MAGA. When Trump takes over to save the Jews according to biblical prophecy, according to their interpretation, which is hate, nonetheless, they also have it already set up. They're against women. They hate women. They hate those of color not just those trying to get into America at the southern border. You already know they want to kick you out. I already got a death threat this morning by a person who didn't get flagged by YouTube who's telling me to go back to my bleephole country. America? <laughs> He's calling me black. <laughs> <laughs> Which, yes, but I'm not black enough to get reparations. <laughs> I saw another one uh, going over uh, how uh, many whites are coming to the harsh reality through DNA evidence that <laughs> they come from black ancestry as well but it shouldn't be a surprise 
all of the plantation owners were rapists. But that's the thing that, that, that reparations does not want to address and acknowledge is that white supremacists also need to get reparations because of their plantation owners raping of little black girls who are slaves. It's just an ugly mess. And so, yeah, the Gaza port that's going to be infiltrated and by Hamas and then Israel will attack it and then America will be faced with oh no what do we do do we attack Israel now and side with terrorism <laughs> and it's gonna be right before the election you're not catching on they're doing it this weekend it's purposely being done to turn people against Biden for the election to put Trump in and you got Islamists and blacks and and immigrants all claiming that they're gonna vote for Trump because they're not happy with Biden He's, Trump is going to betray you you know he wants to put you to death he wants to kick you out he wants to imprison you he's a hater Mormons you honestly think you're gonna get the kingdom of God if the church refuses to bow the knee to Trump Dear God. You gotta know your enemy. Sun Tzu is right. Uh, Kim Jong-un is preparing for war. Nobody seems to be concerned about that. <laughs> the... Uh, the Zionist bar here in Utah, no Zionist bar. I heard from him, one of the news stations locally did a video on that, interviewing him and asking him, and he diverted saying, oh, we allow all the homeless people to come, it's a safe space. Answer the question. <laughs> oh no, we allow Jews to come in. And yeah, he's anti-Semitic. He's redefining what Zionist is and calling a Zionist a hater. And so I expect him to get banned with the investigation that's going on. <coughs> he's just in denial that he's not a safe space if he's going to redefine what a Zionist is. He's calling Zionists haters. But, you know, if the investigators support his white supremacist views, he'll get away with it but he doesn't seem to be Mormon so if the investigators are Mormon yeah he's toast uh, Weber school district have declared war on the people of the district in the state of Utah football is God you do not touch football It is a sacred ritual in Utah for football. And when the University of Utah is competing against BYU, it's the holy day. <laughs> you do not mess with football in Utah. Oops, the Weber County School District have declared war against football. They've banned football from the schools. So that's not gonna go over well. Uh, uh, the solar eclipses uh, are something that Brigham Young seems to be paying attention to. In April 1846, there was a solar eclipse that occurred uh, in the Caribbean uh, along the East Coast. And that's when Brigham Young then prepared to flee America. And so he clearly seems to have a connection to solar eclipses, uh, whether he knew it or not. But he does, he made a 
comment in Journal of Discourses in which he said that Joseph Smith was an astrologer rather than an astronomer, <laughs> calling astrology uh, revelation for a revelator. He clearly is not wanting to accept the learning of the Jewish religion of Joseph Smith as he's insulting Joseph Smith by demeaning it, calling it astrology. But uh, yeah, like I did the chart and I brought it up again yesterday. There is a deity who's well aware of this church and is very upset with them. And Nelson is not wetting himself sufficiently for what is coming to him. But you know, if God doesn't want to punish the wicked, it's up to him. <clears throat> Marjorie Taylor Greene. Yeah, I told you to watch out for this. <laughs> and sure enough, it happened. She was calling him out. And uh, I even uh, heard uh, her again talking with him before uh, the event, and he said it to her then too. And that. Uh, uh, he called her name, uh, Riley, Lake and Riley, and Biden then said that there are many other people that need a voice too, and he's concerned with all of them. But Marjorie Taylor Greene is not thinking in that type of mentality. Remember, she's a white supremacist hater. Marjorie Taylor Greene is getting this, say the name, from the Black Lives Matter protests, where Trump, a known racist, was refusing to say the names of the many blacks who were getting murdered by cops. And so that's where it came from is the Black Lives Matter protesters. And so yes, as a white supremacist hater, Marjorie Taylor Greene is turning it back on the Black Lives Matter protesters to mock them, to try to get Biden to be owned by not saying a white girl's name. It is a pure evil thing that Marjorie Taylor Greene did. And so, yeah, Mormons are rebelling against their cries, choosing Lucifer's plan of happiness. You're taking away agency. You're threatening me to take away my agency to have my religious freedom that Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon are in the learning of the Jews as they say they are. It is Lucifer's plan of happiness to deny people's rights to religious freedom and to force everybody into your religious beliefs to destroy their lives, to torture them, to imprison them, to try to murder them, to take their property from them just because they don't believe you and your lies and your hate and your threats. And I've seen that too many times. I've been a victim of it. And I still have not turned. Do Mormons not get it? The prophets apparently still don't get it either. Because they keep getting Mormons to attack me. I will not stop. I will not change. I will not deny the truth. You know, YouTube can stop me. They allow third parties to send malware to destroy my laptop. But it's not going to stop me. It's not going to get me to change my mind. I know the truth. I can't deny the truth. You don't know the truth. You're spreading lies and you're claiming you'll never deny the truth until a Christian comes and points a gun in your face and says, deny Joseph Smith of the Book of Mormon. And then you will because you want to live and so you will betray Joseph Smith in the Book of Mormon because you're nothing but a coward and a liar so there's my 
Here's my post-State of the Union reply.